life and property depend on these satellites working and getting their data down. Hands-on, building things, building circuits, building your own antennas and putting them out. So there was all this engineering. Getting that tornado warning a little sooner might make a difference in people's lives. I'm Armin Karaglanian. I'm a senior electronics engineer at NASA Goddard. My name is Marco Midon, and I am the antenna lead manager for the GOES Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite Project. Over many years, I've been working with the communications, space communications. This would be antenna systems, communicating with satellites and manned spacecraft. And in recent years, we've been looking into optical communications. This is transmitting and receiving laser communications signals back and forth. And I've specialized more in the ground station aspect of it, building the, teles the telescopes, putting those into the systems. The GOES are currently the, the weather satellites. The GOES satellites are geostationary ones. They hover above the Earth further away and they look at the same spot. I am the antenna, so we install these ground stations for receiving the data from those satellites, and so I basically coordinate, manage, oversee the installation and development of those antennas. It's really that mixture of the, the book learning and the hands-on, which makes the, the good engineer. The basic mathematics, the fundamentals, and electronics, the physics, you need to have the basics, and then also maybe your, your hands-on aspects, which have seemed to be more nowadays to internet and, and doing computers and things like that. So any hands-on work like that you can do that really would, would, would help you, really give you the feel for what's practically possible. You definitely need a bachelor's degree, and that's the minimum. It really helps to get a graduate degree. I did a lot of hands-on. I really believe in that, that being an engineer is more than just the book. The book is important, but I'll take an engineer that got a B or a C o or any day over an A student that never built anything. You also be, gotta be willing to take some risk because you're doing things that haven't been done before. Most of the things you can't just go find somebody else that's done it. You, you've gotta kinda get out there and, and try to figure it out. We have to travel, we can work with other engineers, put systems in and then share this with others. Somebody, educational outreach is great to bring up the new talent. So I think that combination of being in the office and then also going out in the field and then around the world in some aspects to, to put in systems in Australia, up in Greenland and Norway. So a little bit of that mixture really helps us. And it's exciting that way. I really like the idea of making a difference. I like the idea that it's going to increase our knowledge of things when I worked on the Solar Dynamics Observatory, our understanding of the sun and of stars is going to increase our understanding of space weather. So I really like the fact that, you know, this, it really does make a difference in people's lives. The national job market for electrical engineers is hot. Job growth in the industry is projected to be 9% by 2026. And the salary potential is really strong. The average salary for an entry-level electrical engineer is nearly $70,000 nationally, and experienced electrical engineers can earn almost $100,000 a year. In the D.C. area, those numbers are even higher, at an average salary of more than $120,000 a year. Montgomery College is constantly updating curriculum in engineering and science and mathematics. It's based on industry needs, and also the requirements that are changing for accredited degree programs such as engineering. Our program is the largest engineering transfer program in the nation, so our transfer rates are truly uh, amongst the highest. So Montgomery College is one of the top institutions in the country when it comes to producing world-class associate's degree graduates. The cost of actually studying in a university for the first two years is quite a lot. I can get the same courses with the same type of education, the same quality here. So it's in a way preparing you to actually go to the university you want to. And that's a great way to start your career.